Okay, this will be a funny one. I've done heaps of these before, but this is an unusual one. We'll soon find out what we can do with this. Okay, so we're going here. We're going to make our size 300. We're going 300 horizontal and 300 vertical. This will be an interesting one we're going to do. Oops, sorry about the itchies. Uh, right. Contrast, copy density, what are we going to do with the copy density? Going to lighten it up. Just do the usual with the sharpness and the saturation. I wonder what we're going to do with these. We're going to strip the black. The last one we did of this type of original, we did strip the black. So I'm wondering if maybe the copy density should go up a bit because it's going to be a little bit wishy-washy in some ways, not having the black. So we're going to just get rid of the black. It's going to be interesting to see how it looks. All right, what is this original that we've got? It is, it's a baby's dummy. It's a different one. It's a round circular one. It's not fancy like the others and it's all in white plastic. There's no, sorry, I'm just scratching my face. There's no fancy bit in the middle. It looks like a budget style of dummy as far as dummies go. So we're going to make this into a movement and hopefully a, a, a uh, a mirror image, a four-way mirror image piece. So we're just going to slide that. So let's see how that looks. <laughs> I think white should lend itself well to not having any black toner. I'm hoping it'll all be colourful. There'll be lots of colours. But it, it, often with, if you try to take the black out completely on a, on a, on a text original, it looks like shit. But this looks a bit too bright. Interesting, but it still looks too bright. I think we've got to do some work on it. Maybe we can add a background colour to this. Not a background colour. Yes, a background colour, but maybe a um, an RGB. We're going to see what we can do with this. Make it look really good. So 300%. So we're just going to go and we're going to do some work on the setup. Okay, so we're going to add a background colour so the dummy has something interesting instead of just pure white. So, wondering what colour would make it look good. We're going with magenta, hopefully that'll look good. And we're going here, and we're gonna take our copy density, and we're gonna darken it. Actually, no, we're gonna use brightness. So we're just gonna darken the brightness. And what we're going to do is, as I was saying, red, green, blue. This will disappear once I hit this. So we're going to make some more background, make the this area look more blue. A bluey colour rather than that yucky, muddy green shit. So hopefully this will this will come up a treat. And maybe with the hue... We can warm it up. So we're going to do something a little bit different here. So let's see how we go. See if we can make this look really nice. So we're just going to start off here. Whatever. How are we going to do it? Right. We're just going to start here. We're going to hit start. And see what we've, what difference we've made to it. Okay. So yeah, we're, we're, we're copying with no black toner. The black toner has been completely removed through the colour balance feature. So let's see how this goes. Interesting. It's very blue now. It's probably too blue, but it's a nice little shape. I'm wondering if we're going to do another one. We're going to do another one. We're going to take out some of that blue. I think we went 
too crazy with the blue or a little bit overkill. I had a gut feeling it was going to be a bit of overkill. So we're just going to go here. Go take the blue and we're just going to add a small amount, relatively small amount or moderate amount. And we're going to leave the hue in that position. So maybe with the brightness, we can lighten it up a bit. We don't want it too dark. So we're just going to go and we're going to try again. See if we can make this look good or look better. Let's see if we can make it look really nice. It's a little tricky, this, this dummy we're doing and we're making doing some experimental shit although I've done lots of um, three color images with of my face faces look good with this set with these settings but yeah it looks less blue but it looks dirty but I'm wondering if that's going to be a good mirror image to start off with you can see lots of magenta so I'm wondering what we're going to do with this so we're going to go, I'm just going to take this and this will be in the bin. I just, all I did was wash it and it was no, even for the owners of the dummy, the original owners, it looks like it's damaged anyway, but that looks really nice like that. Well, it's not my colour scheme, not my taste, but I'm hoping we can make it a better, make it look better and make it as a mirror image. So now we have to just play around here and we just got to set things differently to use that as a master copy, to use our photocopy dummy as a master copy. So we're going to get rid of the background colour. I still think yellow would have been a better colour. So colour adjust. We're going to have to add... We're going to add some red to this. What are we going to do with this? I'm going to drop in some red. And the hue. We're going to warm it up further. Maybe here we can zero it. And here. We're going to put blank black at zero. We're going to reintroduce the black. So I'm wondering how this will actually look. This demo is already prolongated, but hey, we're just going to try and get something good out of this if we can. Yeah, my hand's getting sore holding this phone. <laughs> so let's see how we go with this. If we've made it look better, if we've tweaked it nicely to make it look a lot nicer colour-wise. That's interesting. It's not my taste. We've got a lot of green. I do see a lot of green. I don't like it. Um, I'm just going to put that aside. I'm wondering if we're going to enlarge it vertically. So we're going to have to overlap the original in the vertical position because we're going to get a, a bloody yucky looking border. So we just overlapped it there a little bit. I wonder what size we're going to make it. So we're going to go manual and we're going to go vertical, oh, vertically only. So 140, I'm going 140 with that. And we're just going to muck with the colours a bit more. So I'm wondering if we can just do something a little bit more sophisticated here. And we're just going to take our colour balance and we're going to set our colors that we've actually we're still going to have a fair amount of cyan a little bit of black the yellow is going to be the strongest a little bit of magenta that's about it we're just going to try and make our color balance a bit better and wonder what else we can do here red we're going to make it a bit redder I don't know how this is going to look. And the hue is too is too hot. It's too green. 
I don't like that green. I think that's what we're going to do. I thought I just hit something I shouldn't have hit. I think we're fine. Okay, let's see how we go with this. Okay, let's see how that looks. Well, that looks a lot nicer. Now the magenta has turned to red because we've added more yellow and we've taken out the other colours. So I'm wondering if this is what we want. It's not the greatest result, but it looks interesting. I do like the little bits of cyan there along the edge. So I'm thinking, what are we going to do? We're going to go here and do more work. Hey, it didn't even beep. It normally beeps, but sometimes strange things happen to photocopiers with me. So I'm wondering if we're going to go here. We're going to leave it at that. And the hue, we're going to leave it. So I think we're just going to run with this particular result. Let's see how that goes. So this is as nice as it gets, from what I can tell, or at least from my tastes and preferences in colour. So let's see how this looks. So this is our second version. So, oh, same version, of course, same settings. We're just going to line it up here. So it's, it's, unfortunately it's curling, which really is a distraction. Most of my demos appear to have this problem, which really pisses me off. I just can't find a solution to the problem unless I'm getting, I'm picking up shit reams, reams that are probably being exposed to dampness. I don't know, it's the only explanation I can find is that the reams I, I buy might be already damp. I've seen that happen before with, with a ream of paper where there's actually ripples in the paper, which mean the paper has gone off somehow, even though it was still wrapped. So this could be a, a bad ream of paper for all I know. I don't know, but it seems to be happening a lot over the past couple of months since we had rain and the rain is over and we've still got this problem, even though I've put a damp red pot in there to remove the dampness from the air in the closet. In the little closet in my bedside table which is where I keep the reams well I only have I don't I only do one ream at a time but that's where I keep the paper is in that little closet which is in a bedside table anyway that's kind of strange but there you have it I think we can call that one quits